right. Hello and welcome. I'm Gina Decker and thank you for joining us for this free webinar. I'm just going to start my screen share and of course let me know if you can't see these slides. And so this is the five biggest mistakes business owners make that weighs thousands of dollars during their launches. And I am so excited to share this information with you today. So thank you and welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so if you can't hear me, just uh, type in the chat or kind of like wave, but uh, um, this will be recorded. And so if you miss anything or, or just want the notes, go ahead and make sure you're registered so you can get the replay. So thank you for attending the Five Biggest Mistakes webinar, and I am so excited to share this information with you today. I'm Gina Decker, and I have been managing JV launches for the past, oh, I would say maybe three plus years, and I've done so many launches at this point, I've kind of lost track after 35 launches, but I specialize in business owner launches of online products and services. And so, you know, whether you have services or coaching that you provide, or you have an online group program that you're wanting to launch, this is for you. And I am a tech guru. They call me the tech guru. So uh, I love technology, but I also understand that there are a lot of mistakes that people make with technology. And so I'm here to talk about that today. Now you're in the right spot if you want to grow your business with JV partnerships. And I'll define that for you if you're not sure what a JV partner is. And also you're in the right place if you're budget conscious. Now, when I first started with launches, I did not have a huge budget. And so I'm gonna share with you some very inexpensive resources today. And also, if you don't like doing the technology yourself, we're gonna talk about outsourcing to a tech team or maybe a virtual assistant. And whether you're doing the steps yourself or working with an assistant, we'll go over those things today as well. And finally, if you want to launch your product or service in as little of in as little as four weeks, then you are in the right place. So if you want to launch faster than that, then probably this is not the right webinar for you. But uh, four weeks actually doesn't take very long. So uh, we're going to be going over the timelines for that today. Now, what can a launch do for your business? You know, it's really great to launch a leveraged group program or even have you know, a launch of, you know, a special service per package that you're coming out with. And that can create a quick cash infusion, which is always nice to have in your business. You'll want to come up with a name um, and you'll want to make sure, you know, the title's hot, that this is something that the market wants and that's gonna help them in a big way. Um, also, if you're creating the basis for an income that you want to kind of rinse and repeat over and over again, what I like to tell my clients is the first launch is hard and then after that it's rinse and repeat. So um, don't feel intimidated if you haven't done a launch already or if you're kind of you know, still in the middle of the steps of launching because sometimes it's really just a matter of getting that first one done and then repeating. Now, you can up-level your launch if you're going to be working with affiliates, and affiliates and JVs are sometimes used interchangeably, but basically a JV partner is going to help promote you, and so you will be able to get more sales and visibility and traffic to your product launch with JV partners. Okay, so if you're wanting to go from zero uh, to 60 in four steps. Here you got the race car right here. Um, you want to launch a product or service. Now it doesn't matter whether it is, you know, consultation package if you're a coach or, you know, a leverage group program. You can launch either way. Um, you can also create a very simple sales funnel to do this. And I think one of the biggest mistakes that I see business owners make is that they complicate the launch process. So it's, it's very simple and we're gonna go over that today. 
Now you want to have an idea of a realistic timeline of a launch and so you don't want to rush through it because that can cause a lot of stress and sometimes launches can be very stressful and we don't like stress we like it to be easy and effortless <laughs> so you want to make it as easy as possible now you don't have to have everything completely figured out so if you have an idea and kind of an tentative title that's fine to get started now, if you're not sure what a joint venture partner is, sometimes they're called affiliates, sometimes they're called JV partners, but they're basically someone who helps you grow your business. And they usually have a list that's very similar to your niche. It may not be identical, but it may be congruent. So, um, you know, if you work with business owners, um, you know, you want your JV partner to also work with business owners. And so you're looking for JV partners who kind of have similar interests and um, training as you do, but they may not um, actually specialize in what you specialize. So they may want to refer people to you. Now, um, a typical commission that they would expect to refer people to you is usually 30 to 50% for a leverage group program. Now that can vary if you're a service provider, because if it's your direct coaching time or your direct services, then it may actually be less than that. Sometimes it's more, so it just depends, um, but that's a typical commission. You'll also want to have swipe copy and affiliate graphics ready for your affiliates to promote. You don't want to expect them to do that all for you. And so you want to have that prepared. Um, we'll talk about the technical aspects of affiliate links in a little bit, but uh, basically an affiliate link is something that allows your JV partner to track how much traffic they're going to give to you. And so it also tracks the number of sales, which you know they don't get paid until they make a sale for you. So, um, so you, know, you wanna make sure that that affiliate link is working. And the bigger the JV partner, you wanna make sure that you have some stats. And so usually you're actually not doing your first launch with JV partners. You're doing maybe a pilot launch to your own list. Um, you're testing, you're collecting data, you're making sure that you're optimizing that launch just so that it's as, as good as possible before you're taking it to a big JV partner. Because the bigger the list that they have, typically the more stats they want to see on conversion. And then finally, you're really not going to expect the JV partner to be like a full business partner for you. They are there to support you. You're there to support them. It's a win-win situation. Um, but of course, if you don't have like a list that is similar to that theirs, or if, if you know, you just don't, um, you know, have alignment in your messages, they may not promote you again. So it, it, it is, you know, a relationship and it's important to stay in touch with your JV partners. All right, so I mentioned that I, I lost track over 35 launches. I actually stopped counting. Um, I launched quite a bit, and so I didn't always know what JV launches were. And so what happened was, I think maybe about three, four years ago, I joined a group called the JV Insider Circle. And that's a membership of anywhere from maybe 400 to 600 entrepreneurs. And they are all JV minded. So we're all looking to connect, to find JV partners, to support each other. Um, and they, they gave me some training initially, you know, on, you know, what what to give JV partners. Um, but what's interesting is that very early on, you know, for, for the past three years, I started to be involved in the JVIC team. And so I am actually their tech guru and I lead a monthly technology call. And I used to co-lead this call, but now I do it solo. I'm the only tech guru they've got. And basically, I've just been inundated with you know, JV technology, the different options that people can use when they're doing a launch. And there's no right or wrong answer. And so, you know, I'm dialed in with the technology. If you have questions, I'm happy to answer them. 
Um, what's very interesting is because of my involvement with the JBIC, I got to see behind the curtains of a six or seven figure launch. And they've grown very rapidly over the years. And so I've worked closely with the team. And you know what's very interesting is that big JV launches and small JV launches are actually the same formula. They're the same steps. And so, I mean, we just pretty much add layers, but it's very similar. And so you can do this too. All right, so let's go into some of the mistakes that business owners make when they're launching. The first, and this is a big one, is sometimes you don't have enough clarity on your niche before you're launching a product or service. And this can be a problem because if you're not sure which segment of the market you're launching your product or service to, it can be very difficult to figure out how to pitch this idea to a JV, how to even just get some traction from your own list. So it is a good idea to kind of have just, you know, an inkling of the people you like to help, the problems that you like to solve, and maybe an idea of where to find those people. And if you're not completely sure, that's where a JV partner could really help you. Now, I'm going to go over a sad but true story. I had a client who was just a really nice lady, very knowledgeable in her expertise. Um, she was actually, you know, she had a, a background in corporate finance. Um, you know, she wanted to make a bigger impact. She purchased all the right systems. So, I mean, just systems that people had recommended to her. Previously, um, she she didn't have a really tight budget. She actually budgeted pretty, um, you know, pretty well considering what she was wanting to do and, you know, use JV Partners to grow her business with her launches. Um, but she didn't really have clients that she was working with, so she didn't really have a clear idea of what her niche was. Um, and she repeatedly launched a product at $9.97 and it didn't sell. It just didn't sell. She kept on launching. She kept on offering webinars. She grew her list, but she never got the sales. And it was really devastating because she stopped her business. She just actually got um, ill, you know, because it was so stressful that she was, you know, pouring money into these systems and they were just not paying off for her. So I don't want to see this happen to any of you guys. And so this is why I'm going over some of the mistakes. All right. So mistake number two is creating an offer in a vacuum. Now we talked about, you know, doing a little bit of market research and knowing your niche. So this ties into that. You want to basically listen to the market. And, and even if you don't have that many clients, you can start doing this just one-on-one. -on -one. So if you offer free discovery sessions, um, you know, if you're in Facebook groups where there are people in your audience that you could help, you want to talk to them, you know, just have really candid candid conversations with them and really listen to what they have to say because they're going to tell you what they're struggling with and so take notes on that and note it and um, learn what to say back to them on your discovery calls because if you have a client base already then you have some funds to go into a JV launch because there are some costs I mean we'll go over you know some low budget ways to launch in this presentation, but uh, it does help to have a little bit of client income going into this and also some just real concrete knowledge of what they're struggling with. All right, so mistake number three is choosing the wrong systems. <laughs> now I said there's not a right or a wrong, but what I mean by that is, is you want to use the right systems for you and your budget. And it's, it depends, it depends on you and what your budget is and also you know what you're trying to do how fast you want to scale i personally use a weber as my autoresponder and if you're not familiar with the term autoresponder it's basically just a way to send email messages and communications to 
your list. And so uh, you want to automate some of that because you can't just spend all of your days emailing people one by one. So you want to make sure you can automate that with an autoresponder. And so very common ones that I see, you know, MailChimp, GetResponse, Constant Contact, they're all good, reputable companies. Um, you know, so if you're on a tight budget, you may just have an autoresponder to begin with. You may not have all the rest of the bells and whistles. What I did to up-level my launch after I got a Weber is I installed WordPress, which is a website or blogging platform. And sometimes you'll see WordPress and you know blog or website used interchangeably with WordPress. But basically it's a website platform and you pay for hosting. And usually hosting is about maybe three to seven dollars a month. Usually you pay it annually. And so you basically install WordPress for free. And then from there I added a plugin, which is just kind of an add-on that you you install on WordPress and it's WP affiliate. So that cost me $49.50 one time to do that. So really I was only paying for hosting for my affiliate plugin and for my autoresponder at that point. Um, you know, if you're wanting to have an all-in-one system and maybe you're not on a, a tight budget like I was when I first started out, you may want to use something like an all-in-one system. And what I mean by that is it includes the autoresponder, the shopping cart, maybe a payment platform, um, sometimes a membership um, area, all under one roof. And so that sometimes simplifies things for people, but it is usually a higher monthly cost. And so, you know, examples of, of all-in-one systems are One Shopping Cart, Simplero, Infusionsoft is, is a big one. Um, I do caution people about Infusionsoft, even though it's a really robust system, it's like the Bentley of, you know, these systems. I mean, it's expensive and it's expensive for a reason because it does a lot and so you don't always necessarily want to start with the highest thing but also you don't want to start with something that you can't scale up so um, that's just kind of a caution um, you know when people are choosing the wrong systems that's kind of what I mean if they start with something that's just so expensive you know they end up having to you know downgrade um, you know I also recommend lead pages which is at the top of this industry as far as high converting landing pages and sales pages and so even if you don't have a website you don't have WordPress you can create your launch in lead pages and so it's a very good platform they've been around for a long time they do research on conversion and so they're very good um, again if you're not wanting to um, pay monthly for things I also recommend another plugin for WordPress called Optimize Press. And so before I got lead pages, which is I think the basic account at this point is somewhere around $25 a month paid annually. Um, you know, but before I actually got that account, I was working with Optimize Press. Now Optimize Press functionally allows you to do very similar things as lead pages. You're building landing pages and sales pages and thank you pages. Um, however, they don't convert quite as well, I notice, as lead pages. Um, but if you're on a tight budget, the plugin costs like maybe $97 one time, and it also comes with a membership plugin. So you can keep your budget low and also keep the monthly expenses low if you're working with WordPress and plugins. Now, PayPal is the payment processor that I use personally. However, there's all kinds of other merchant accounts that you can use. PayPal takes the fees out of the sale, and so you don't pay monthly to, to have a PayPal account. Um, I do recommend having a business account with PayPal because it'll let you create different types of buttons, subscription buttons, buy now buttons. Um, but there are definitely other payment processors that you can use besides PayPal. That's just the one I personally use. Okay, so how did I learn all this stuff? Well, I am a techie, but I actually don't have a technology degree. I have all liberal arts degrees. I have a music degree, an English degree, and a master's in higher administration. So um, I actually learned this by doing it. So I was on a tight budget originally, and I set up my own systems. And I learned by watching the help videos that each of these companies have on their websites. And I actually, because I do have a higher education background, 
I created my own documentation. And so as I created my launch and, you know, up leveled my business, I created step-by-step instructions for myself just because I didn't have a way to remember all of these different systems that I was working with. And as I started working with clients more, I started to record Jing videos. And Jing is just a company by TechSmith. Um, it, it's basically a platform that lets you do screen share videos. And so I recorded over the last you know, three, four years all the systems that I set up both for myself, sometimes for my demo clients. And that gave me a lot of documentation. And I'm going to talk about how you can benefit from some of that uh, documentation, those wonderful videos that I have recorded so diligently over the years. Okay, so the final mistake, mistake number four, actually not the final because we've got one more, um, is not really having an idea of the sales funnel. And so you can make this really, really simple and then just add layers as we mentioned before. And so you start with a free gift and the free gift could be anything. It could be a checklist, it could be an ebook, a meditation, a video training recording, an e-course, which is what I use for my free gift. Um, you know, it could be almost anything, but it needs to be something that's helpful for your audience and your ideal clients. So whatever keeps them up at night, you want to speak to that in your free gift. Now from there, you're going to have a thank you page. So when people opt in, um, or sign up for your free gift, they're usually going to need some sort of confirmation that they got onto your list and that they're going to receive your free gift. And so that's the thank you page. Um, it depends on whether you have a double opt-in on or off with your autoresponder, but a double opt-in is basically, you know, just a confirmation message saying, yes, I do want to get this gift, <laughs> you know, and sometimes you can turn that off. So it just goes right, you know, to the thank you page and you can include the download right there on the thank you page. Now from there, you can set up a very simple sales page. Um, you know, so you're not actually setting up too many pages for your launch. You know, these are, we're talking about four pages here. And so the sales page, you know, is just going to have some copy about your offer and your services. And you want to make it pretty clear. You don't want to make it too complicated. And from here, you'll want to have a thank you page for your buyers. And so you also, just like the free gift confirmation, you just want to make sure that buyers understand what they got. And so um, it's very simple to set up, you know, those four pages. Now from there, if you're wanting to up level, a lot of times my clients come to me and they want a webinar, just like the one we're on right now. And so, you know, sometimes we will use the webinar to drive traffic to those pages. And uh, sometimes if the webinar is converting really well, we'll automate the webinar, meaning, you know, we're, we'll basically let, let it sell for the business owner in their sleep. <laughs> you know, you can just have a nice presentation and you don't want to necessarily skip to that, you know, at the very get go, because you don't know if it's going to convert if you don't ever offer it live first. But um, I often see business owners using webinars and then also videos. And this really, we talked about the difference between big launches and small launches. When I see big six and seven figure launches, they have product launch videos. And so usually there are a series of maybe three or four videos that are highly produced. Um, sometimes they hire a studio, you know, a professional videographer to do those videos and they usually shoot them over, you know, several days. Um, it's costly to do that. Um, but we do have a way of, you know, just kind of starting with, you know, the bare minimum technology and doing that from your home studio. So um, there's actually a bonus in my course that talks about, you know, video home studios that you can do yourself. Okay, so from here, if you're also up leveling with JV Partners, you're going to write email copy. And so whether you write this yourself or you hire a copywriter, you're going to need the email copy. And if you're not sure about, you know, what kind of email copy you need, pretty much just sign up for any launch <laughs> and you'll be able to see, you know, the email copy that comes through. And, and they call it swipe, actually, because you're swiping copy from, you know, one person and, like, you know, kind of making it own. You're, it's not plagiarism. You're, you're, you're still, you know, you're still personalizing it for your own 
launching your own products. But uh, pretty, if you've ever followed any marketer, you can basically see that they have email copy. All right, so high converting landing pages and sales pages. We talked about this a little bit before, but the two top ones that I use are lead pages and optimized press. So if you're on a tight budget, optimized press again is that plugin for $97. It comes with a membership plugin, optimized member. And so you have to have WordPress for that. Um, lead pages, you don't have to have WordPress for it, although some it works with WordPress. It's, it integrates with WordPress. Um, so lead pages, I really used to up-level my launch, but I didn't start out with it. So um, what's nice about lead pages is it gives you the stats that JVs really need. And so if they're looking for how many views your opt-in page got for your freebie, how many sales it converted at. Lead Pages just has you know, the analytics right there. It's so easy to look it up. You don't have to do any fancy plugins, Google Analytics, any of that. And so it's very good if you're really wanting to up level. Now, if you're wanting to master the launch sequence, the JV launch sequence, you're basically going to follow about four steps. So you're gonna choose the systems, the right systems for you. You're going to develop a freebie and give yourself time to do that because sometimes you know, you'll know you have multiple freebies, sometimes you'll just have one. Uh, you might have to test a little bit with you know, the freebies. From there, you'll want to go into your sales funnel. So when I mean by sales funnel, I am talking about those four pages. So it includes the freebie, it may include you know, a webinar registration page, and your sales page. That's obviously the, the best part of the, the sales funnel is when you actually get to collect the sales. And then if you're up leveling with a JV launch, then you're going to use affiliate tracking and I really recommend testing your systems, especially if this is your first launch or having your team test them for you because you don't wanna have big JVs promote and have your systems fail. And so we're gonna talk about testing in a, in a bit as well. Okay, so the final mistake is not planning enough. And I'm, I've been guilty of this myself, so I'm not, I'm not condemning anyone, but uh, what I notice business owners do a lot of times is just not allow enough time both to build their own launch, you know, to write their own content, you know, to get, um, you know, their copy done, you know, their pages done. That typically takes about four weeks, you know, to do their own launch, their own list. Um, but what I also notice is that if they're bringing their launch to a JV partner and they're asking a JV partner to promote, some of the partners have their calendar booked out for, you know, six months in advance. And, and I noticed this because, you know, when I was working with the JVIC team, they planned their launches out several months in advance. They actually start planning their launches maybe six to eight months in advance. And so, you know, they're not just giving themselves two weeks, you know, to ask a JV partner to promote them. And so you really want to make sure you're allowing enough time um, whether you're doing the technology yourself um, or whether you're having a team build it for you with a team I always recommend you know having your content um, and if you don't have all of it you know like if you hired my team um, you don't have to have all of it written from the get-go especially if you're pre-selling your product or service um, but it does it, it's just courteous to give your tech team you know, more than a couple of days to put their pages together, you know, that kind of thing. And especially if you're working with a VA or virtual assistant overseas, just because of the time difference, you're going to want to give um, them the material for your pages in advance. And so you'll allow them to iterate and to improve things. Um, so you, you definitely want to be conscious, you know, from a team perspective and then also from a JV perspective as far as the launch timeline. Now, I am very excited to introduce my course, which is Effortless Launch Formula. And we talked about the mistakes, but these are mistakes that are avoidable, and I am going to walk you guys through them. So don't feel like you're alone in this. I'm actually gonna show you how to do this. And so basically this course involves four modules, and they're live, so I, I teach them to you step by step and we go through 
all of the parts of the launch. And so, you know, you're also with a group of other business owners who are launching as well. And sometimes just having the input and, you know, having a group of people who are doing this with you can really help because then you don't feel so isolated. We're going to be going over in the modules your launch date, you know, setting a tentative launch date, setting a tentative price, uh, creating your sales funnel, naming your product. We're actually going to give you some feedback on your product name. So that's one of the first things that we do. We also go over your freebie and your sales page and then researching the demand. So if you haven't done enough market research or if you've launched before and been disappointed by the results, you may want to actually go back to that stuff. Um, and, and the thing that can make this really effortless is that once you know the steps of a launch, you can outsource it. So if you don't really like technology, which I love technology, but I'm kind of in the minority <laughs> for that, um, you can outsource it and you can do that fairly inexpensively. So we'll be talking about that in the course. Um, you'll be creating the landing page. Uh, we'll also talk about what you need to give to your VA or team if you are working with a team. So whether you have you know, um, you know, the videos and you're doing it yourself or you're working with a team, we're going to be going over that. So usually you're giving them branding and logos. Um, if you're doing launch videos, you wanna give them the recording of your, your video. Um, you might be working with a copywriter to do the autoresponders or you might be writing it yourself. So we're going to be talking about what you need to do um, to work together with a team efficiently and then also if you're just doing it yourself. Um, we're also going to be talking about case studies. So uh, webinar launches, I see a lot of mistakes with webinar launches, um, te both technology-wise and just you know skipping over some crucial steps. So we're going to be reviewing that in the course and going deeply into that. Now, we're also going to talk about up-leveling. So a lot of times you launch to your own list and then from there, once you do have some revenue coming in from the first launch, you're able to hire a copywriter or you're able to hire a virtual assistant or you know expand your team. But you may not be there at the beginning. So we're, we're going to talk about all of those things. You're going to avoid the tech snafus by doing this, believe me. Okay, so what else does this include? Okay, so we talked about the four one hour training sessions with me. So that's with me personally, and we're going to go over what you'd hand off to your team as well as you know what you can possibly handle yourself. So whether you feel like you are pretty tech savvy or just not tech savvy at all, this is definitely something you can do. We're gonna go over those case studies. And like I said, I've, I lost track at 35 launches. So I've launched so many times that I see the mistakes you know, pretty glaringly. And so we're, we want you to avoid those mistakes. Um, and then also I'm including some timelines and checklists and resources. And so you're going to get all of that in the dashboard. Okay, so if you total all of this together just without the bonuses, then it's a value of $1,300. But I've included some extra bonuses to make this even sweeter. So during the course, if you have questions, um, you can come to the Tech Tier Guru and um, ask unlimited questions during the course. And that's really valuable because I, I really care about my clients <laughs> and I care about um, my students. And so if you have questions and you're struggling, please feel free to ask me. The other thing that this also comes with is a private Facebook group. And so this is a safe area where you can get your questions also answered, but get some feedback, not just from me, but from other people who are launching. And that can be very valuable. And then from here, you also have an additional course called Master the Launch that I'm giving you access to. So I talked about those step-by-step -step videos. They're only maybe five to 10 minutes long each, and so you have access to all of those videos as well. And there, it's not just one system, it's all, pretty much all the systems that I've learned and been involved with for launches. And so I'm going to constantly be updating those videos and expanding the video library. And then also I have any kind, any manuals, any notes that I have on what to make your, your launch more successful, that's also going to be included in the dashboard. So it's, it's, it's over 10, but it's probably closer to 20 <laughs> manuals that you, you'll have access to as part of this course. So 
we're just going to talk about Master the Launch just a little bit more. So if you are work working with a virtual assistant, you know, maybe you're on a tight budget and so, you know, you want to hire someone fairly inexpensively to help you with your launch. And so um, a lot of times those types of virtual assistants don't know a marketing funnel. They don't really know the terminology of a JV launch um, and they're kind of lost when you give them stuff. And so what we're going to do is give you the information that you need to hand off to them so that they, they can, you know, they, they speak their own techie language. <laughs> and so you need to be able to tell them what to build for you. Um, this course specifically uh, in the four modules talks about optimized press and WP affiliate. So if you're on a shoestring budget, those are the two systems um, that I'd recommend starting out with. So WP affiliate again is, you know, that $50 plugin, um, optimized press, less than $100. Um, so if you're on a tight budget, uh, that's what um, you can possibly start with. Um, and of course, this, this also includes all of my other manuals. Now here's an example of something that you would do to up-level your launch. And this is one of the resources that we go over during the course. And so if you are doing a JV launch, you want to test. <laughs> you don't want to just find out that your tracking is not working halfway in between your launch. It's going to be very stressful. And so what I do for my tests, and you want to do this before JVs promote, is I basically sign myself up as an affiliate. I change the price of the product to a dollar just for the test. And of course I change it right back after the test. But uh, I opt in with my affiliate link and the affiliate link to the free gift should track all the way to the sale. So whether the sales page is an affiliate link or not, the freebie affiliate link should track all the way to the sale. And so if it does, you're golden, <laughs> you're good. You can, you can start sending your affiliate links to your partners. If it doesn't, you're gonna to have to be doing some more troubleshooting. Okay, so again, here are all the things that you get part of this course. It's very generous what we've created. And so you get the course, you get the live training sessions, the case studies, the checklists, all of the bonuses, and that's a total value of $2,800. But I'm not gonna give that to you. I'm not gonna make you pay that today. I'm not gonna charge $2,800. It is just $4.97 today. Now here are some testimonials from Jerry, my client, who took this actually with her VA, and she said, my experience working within my affiliate program has been very frustrating at times. Gina's new course was just what I needed to revamp my affiliate program. Gina's course includes four content-rich modules, a learning library filled with resources, a Facebook forum, the training videos that offer step-by-step -step directions for you and your virtual assistant. And I found Gina's resources to be very helpful and easy to follow. Gina's course gave me the confidence I needed to be able to promote. Another of my students who took this with her husband, she said, I enjoyed how Gina teaches us and takes us step by step through each process. She is a natural born teacher, and very receptive to questions and challenges along the way. I would recommend Gina to be part of your team personally and or invest in her expertise and knowledge in her programs and products. She is genuinely interested in your success and for you to learn new skills to take your business to the next level. Another student says, oh my God, I love this course, Gina. I haven't even watched the videos, just experienced the support in the Facebook group and read the emails, which are packed with good information, not typical sales copy. And I love the price calculator and recognition that contrary to what many coaches teach, focusing on copy or tech, getting the prices right can make or break a launch. Can't wait to watch the videos after work. And finally, Duncan says, celebration time. Did our first paid online class today with 25 students. Went well on our end. Thanks for your help, much appreciated. We had a lot of difficulty getting our programs launched. And uh, it has actually taken him years. Uh, but he says that, uh, that I've always been available to keep the pre-launch moving until the launch time. Gina was a wealth of technical information and knowledge. 
All right. And then finally, Robin Hawk from the JVIC, that group where I learned about joint venture. She is called the wizard behind the curtain. She says, I'd like to nominate Gina as member of the month. For years, she first co-led, then led our monthly tech calls. And she is always there to answer technical questions in the JV tech support group. Thank you, Gina. You rock. <laughs> All right. And I almost forgot you can get two copies of this course. So if you do have a virtual assistant that you're working with, just send me the name and email of your VA and I'll go ahead and give them access to this first. So that doubles the value of this course. So don't wait, save yourself the time and frustration, launch quickly and easily, and use this training many times over. You don't have to break your budget to get a good launch out there. Now, if you're not sure and you just want to try this out, go ahead and try it. There's actually a 100% success guarantee. And so if you purchase this course, you watch all the lessons and you do your homework, just let us know, you know, the assignments. And if it doesn't work in four weeks and you've done all of the work, go ahead and get your money back 100%. Now, just for today, if you register by the end of this webinar, you will get a bonus, which is a live implementation done for you session with me personally. Now this is a value of $800. I have only so much time in my schedule, so I can only take so many of these. Um, but uh, if you register by the end of this webinar, I will personally work with you to get a part of your launch funnel done. And so if you've been procrastinating and you need me to step you through it, I am happy to do that. And you can do that if you buy the course by the end of this webinar. Now we have an additional bonus and I'm really excited about that. Um, Ellen Finkelstein, and so she's just, uh, um, you know, putting herself on video again, so she's waving. Um, but this is a bonus that Ellen is including and this is she, she says 297 value, but I think it's priceless. And so if you liked these slides, if you are struggling with the slides for your own webinar launch and you need help with the steps and what bonuses and the offer and how to make it convert better, Ellen will guide you <laughs> and she is excellent. <laughs> so this is just to the end of this webinar and so you want to be able to take advantage of that. And so if you've been struggling with your webinar launch, if you've been struggling with the slides, I have seen Ellen do magic with what I thought was a helpless cause. <laughs> and so she is your gal if you need help with PowerPoint. Okay, so if you're ready <laughs> and you are giving yourself permission to launch, go ahead and grab Effortless Launch Formula. It's just $4.97 today, and you can find it at techdoneforyou.com forward slash effortless dash launch dash formula. Okay, so I am going to just double check the chat right now, and I know that you have questions, and so Let's see, what do we got? I'm saving the questions to the end. Okay. Uh, yeah, some, so if your mic is not working, I do have everybody muted at the beginning of the call so we can have a clean recording. So Linda says, is this the same as the JVZoo product offerings? Uh, no, it's actually different than JVZoo. And so JVZoo is an affiliate platform. Um, it's actually not one of the common ones I see used in JVIC. Um, so yeah, it, it's not the same. Um, Ellen says, Linda, JV launch just means using partners, nothing to do with JVZoo products. Okay, so thank you, Linda, for clarifying that. JV is joint venture, yes. So um, if you're not familiar with that term, joint venture, it's basically just um, a partnership where it's win-win, where you have similar niches. Okay, so Ellen says um, it's when you see a zillion people talking about JVZoo products. Uh, they are the JVs, the joint venture partners who are all launching that product. Yes, and so you can actually become an affiliate. Um, you know, of even you know Amazon affiliates, you could actually promote you know a product on Amazon, and um, you know technically that's an affiliate too. Usually, it's a little bit different than a launch because it's not somebody's product or service that they are personally launching. 
Okay, so uh, Linda says, thank you, ladies. Um, uh, I, Ilana says, you're welcome. Okay, so um, Mag says, hello, Gina. You're very close uh, to start. Uh, oh, they are very close to start with their launch and the launch funnel. Yes, Mag and Adriana's wife, they are my clients, and so we are launching currently. Um, okay, so what if you don't have WordPress? Linda asks. Um, yes, that is a very good question. So we did cover that a little bit. So you can actually use lead pages. So if you don't have WordPress, you can use lead pages. Um, you can also use other website platforms. It tends to actually increase your costs. And so what you're usually doing, like for example, if you have a website that uh, you have hosting for and Weebly, which is also a website um, building platform. Um, it'll let you do opt-in pages. They're usually not as pretty. Um, so you're working with their templates. Um, uh, and usually you're working with a, an all-in-one system at that point. So you're usually budgeting at least $99 a month or more to be doing an affiliate launch. So I don't necessarily work in another platforms outside of WordPress. WordPress is the one I personally use. Um, but of course, you if you are using Squarespace or Weebly or maybe one of the other um, website platforms, uh, you, can, you can use them. It just tends to increase your budget. Okay, so Ilana says, I hired an amazing VA who is far more than a VA. Uh, oh yes, and Gina is, more, is a great piano player. Yes, so I do have a, a degree in liberal arts uh, and I play classical piano, my, my long fingers. So, um, all right, so, uh, okay. Let me see. All right, Myra says, uh, what if you have always um, been a service provider, but now you want to create passive income, but you have, not got a list worth speaking of because you had no time. Yes, I, I totally resonate with that, Myra. I, um, I was originally just a service provider. I mean, I did websites, um, I did you know, book tours for, for clients, I did freelance editing. So there really wasn't a big margin to give to JV partners. Um, usually for service providers, they either don't give commission on their direct one-on-one -on -one services, or usually it's no more than 10%. And so when you're talking to JV partners, um, even if you don't have a list, sometimes there's something else that you can um, exchange with a JV partner than uh, like a solo mailing to your list uh, if you don't have a list. Um, but what's funny is that sometimes people are like, oh, I don't have a list, but just look at your sent items folder in your inbox. There are probably several people who could be you know, for, who could benefit from your, your products or services just in your sent items folder. And so, um, you know, you don't necessarily start absolutely from scratch when you're, when you're launching. Okay, so uh, Linda says, I'm launching on a limited budget. Can you give a ballpark cost of a JV launch, um, for example, three to $500, trying to budget for launch expenses? Yes, and so, um, we talked about costs, you know, a little bit with systems, but when I first launched, you know, I was working on my master's degree, I had a full-time job, I didn't have a lot of time or budget to spend on this. And so basically I started with WordPress, which was, you know, I think I bought it for the year, but it was probably somewhere around $3 a month. Um, so that was, you know, hosting and I use Bluehost, but there's a bunch of other hosts that you could use. Um, and then from there I bought Optimized Press, which was $97. So I was paying, you know, um, however much for the year for hosting. I installed WordPress and I got Optimized Press. And then from there I needed an autoresponder. Now there are free autoresponders. So MailChimp actually has a free account, which is up to two. I think it's 2,000 subscribers. So that, that may be, you know, if you're on a really tight budget, you could still, you know, start with MailChimp. Um, but uh, I don't necessarily recommend MailChimp. Um, I went with Aweber because Aweber is a little bit more robust than MailChimp. Um, and one example of that is that MailChimp has campaigns. So um, they're, they're one-time emails that you send out and there's different lists that you can, um, you know, segment people into, and it's kind of a pain, but you actually have to copy 
the same email to multiple lists if you want to send the same email to multiple lists in MailChimp. And so that's irritating to me. I've done it for clients before, but they pay me to do it. So I mean, it's uh, it's just a little bit irritating when you have to kind of do these little workarounds to start with, uh, you know, systems. Um, but uh, yeah, you can definitely, um, you can start with MailChimp if you're on a tight budget. Um, Aweber wasn't very much. I mean, it was, I think it was, I think I paid maybe 49 a quarter or something like that. So, I mean, I, it really wasn't that much more to use Aweber. So, um, Myra says, thank you. Is there a PayPal option to pay for the course? Yes. And so if you go to this link, um, techdoneforyou.com forward slash effortless dash launch dash formula, um, go to the button and then it'll take you to the PayPal link and you'll want to scroll down and then go to, um, you know, the, the thing that says check out with credit card or PayPal. So you don't necessarily have to have, you know, PayPal um, logged in to, to grab the course. So, uh, yes. So Meg said, <laughs> Adriana actually says, I love this lunch. We want to work with you. Uh, yes, uh, I am very excited to uh, help my clients launch as well. So um, you can always hire me directly if you don't want to do this yourself. So Linda, uh, I'm starting um, compiling my email. Is Excel is an Excel spreadsheet okay? If so, besides their name and email address, should I include other information? Um, okay, so Linda, you'll have to be a little bit careful, especially if you don't have a list yet. I mean, you can technically export your contacts from like Gmail or something like that, but they haven't necessarily given you permission to put you put them on your list. And so you want to be a little bit careful of, you know, just kind of coming up with an spread, you know, a spreadsheet. I mean, you, some people will forgive, um, you know, the fact that uh, you've added them to your list. Uh, but um, I, just an example of that, like if you're at a live networking event, um, you know, you don't want to just collect business cards and assume that everyone wants to be on your list. And you can, you know, put that information into an Excel spreadsheet. But usually what I recommend is sending them some sort of kind of buffer email like, hey, I met you at um, XYZ event. Uh, I really like to stay in touch. You know, I've created this really great free gift. Uh, you can download it here. Um, you know, and then give them a, an option to opt out, meaning they can decide not to be on your list. Because um, a lot of times people get very irritated when you just assume that, you know, that you are, are uh, helping them with your free gift. You know, you just don't want to uh, make that assumption. And, you, and also, depending on the country that you're in, the spam laws may not allow you to do that. So, um, but yes, a spreadsheet in Excel is fine. Um, sometimes you actually have to um, convert that into what's called a CSV file. Sorry for the tech technical term, but usually you can just save it as a CSV file. And then usually name, uh, email address is the minimum stuff that you need to, to import it. Um, and I do like to include the first name, although some people, when they're list building, they'll just do the email address because uh, sometimes people don't even want to type in their name. But uh, you can actually personalize your broadcasts and autoresponders by having, you know, hi, first name, and it will populate the first name. So, yep, Linda says, thank you, great suggestion. <laughs> You're very welcome. Okay, so, all right, I'm going to stop the screen share. And I know that some of you may have some questions. I know Ellen's got that fabulous bonus. So <laughs> you've got until the end of this webinar. I'm going to start unmuting. And so if you have any questions, I'm going to go ahead. It might get a little bit loud here. But uh, let me see if I can unmute. OK, I'm muting my mom. Rita, she's here. She's my biggest supporter. I'm unmuting Adriana. Hi. Okay, some of these I can't seem to unmute. Myra, I'm muting you. Eileen, I just unmuted you. Lana, just unmuted you. Linda, Ellen. <laughs> okay. Do you have any um, kind of extra things to say about your bonus, Ellen? Uh, well, uh, so first of all, I worked with Gina on hers. So if you, you know, that, that's a good example. And, and I've worked with other, you know, like a previous client of hers. I think that was what you were referring to when I, I made over some slides for her. Uh, I, I, but it's, I just wanted to say that, that it is a 
important thing to have slides that are easy to read and clear and have pictures on them that that use the principles of visual marketing when you're trying to sell on a webinar or any presentation but i do also work with you on the script and your offer you know that your text and the organization uh, things like that so so you know that's something that i did with with gina as well so especially if this is your first time and you don't really have an idea of how to structure a webinar that offers a product there's pretty much of a, a kind of formula and and that works you know, so that you give some content and then you have the offer and there's an introduction and, and so on like that. And, and it, it's really easy to get off, off track with that, I would say, and put in things that are irrelevant or if you don't mind me mentioning Gina. So, for example, if Gina had a slide on it that, that offered people a chance to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her. And I said, you know, that really will take people away from the offer. You have these great bonuses that end at the end of the webinar. And so, you know, if somebody wants to, has questions, they can always come with you with questions and you can spend the time. But just before the offer to give people a link to make an appointment with you is, is, is going in the wrong, you know, in the wrong direction is counterproductive. So that's just an example. So I'm happy to do this, um, do this for you if you, if you sign up for a course, which, and, and the course is, which I've, I've, I've I bought, and so I've seen some of the content in it. Uh, you know, it's a great course, really complete. Gina really knows her stuff. So it's really worthwhile to not uh, flounder around with, with your first, first wow. launch, I think. It's really good to have that support. Because she teaches it live, this is really helpful because you can't, can't. I took a version of it that wasn't live. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so when she's doing it live, the chance to ask questions and, and to follow along with it and create your launch as you're going, that's really priceless. Yeah, well, thank you so much, Ellen. And, and I, I don't mind at all that you gave me, <laughs> used me as an example because, I mean, I literally, you know, hired you so that you could help me optimize, you know, uh, my own slides in this presentation. And I'm a Toastmaster, you know, but most of the time when I give Toastmaster speeches, I am, you know, speaking without PowerPoint. Yes. And so, you know, the images, the, you know, just, uh, you know, the copy, all of that. I mean, there's so much that goes into a webinar launch and so yeah and that bonus is time sensitive so um, mm -hmm. yeah if you have to leave no worries there will be a replay and then I am just going to screen share really quickly because um, there is an attendance prize and so I'm giving a prize to everybody who attended this live with me and so I'm just screen sharing I hope you can see this this is the sales page and so if you scroll all the way to bottom, you'll see this link that says, click here to download your attendance prize. <laughs> so if you're paying attention, you can click on this link and these are the slides. And so if you wanted to see the beautiful slides after the presentation that Ellen helped me put together, <laughs> you will have here and, and also notes. And so, um, you know, whether you're watching the replay or if you just want to be able to print this out and, uh, and avoid the mistakes, please go ahead and avoid the mistakes. I don't want to see anybody struggle. Okay, so that's the attendance prize. And also, I'll just go back to the sales page for a second. So you can check out with PayPal. So if you click on this link, it's going to bring out the checkout button. And so, um, yeah, so you can, uh, you'll put in your, your PayPal email, um, password, you don't have to actually check out with PayPal itself. So if you want to pay with a debit or credit card, you can. So you just scroll down to that link. Um, so any questions about that, let me know. Um, if you haven't done it already, Gina, can you put the link to buy the product in the chat? Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, so the link is techdoneforyou.com forward slash effortless dash launch dash formula. So I will include it in the chat. And if you put it with www in front of it, it'll be clickable. Okay, let me see. I'll put it with my HTTP. Um, let's see. I'll type it as well. Okay. Oops. That just went to one person. All right. So I'm going to send it to everybody. <laughs> I've done right. that. There we go. All right. So effortless dash launch dash formula. I'll include the HTTP link as well. 
well. So Linda got it. Okay, perfect. Good. All right. And those two last two bonuses are time sensitive. So if you do want Ellen's help with your slides, go ahead and take advantage of that. <laughs> so if you're watching the replay, you may actually not be able to get that. So um, yes, but uh, I was very grateful for Ellen's help. Okay, so any other questions? We're right at the top of the hour and I want to be respectful of everyone's time. So any other questions? Kind of wave your hand. Yes. Um, I want to say how much Ellen's uh, slides have contributed to your presentation, Gina. I'm a very visual person and I absolutely adore what you have done, Ellen, in combination with Gina. I'm very proud of both of you. Thank you. <laughs> proud mama, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Any other questions before we go? Going once, going twice. So you do have a question from Mario who said she, she bought it before the link. So she needs to know how to get back to that page. I guess she can just click it again and go down to the bottom and, and to get oh, the yes, slides. Yes. So Myra, you can go exactly back to, you know, the, the link in the chat, the, techdoneforyou.com forward slash effortless dash launch dash formula. You just scroll down and you can get the slides and, and save that. And, and Maria, just send me your receipt and I'll set up a time to work with you. Yeah. Yeah. And then of course, if you have additional questions, you can always just touch base with me. I, uh, I will be sending out a replay. And so if you, you know, just didn't get a chance to take notes, um, Yes, I will be sending out the replay. I'm not one of those people who likes to with, withdraw um, the replay from people. So, okay, so that is a wrap. And so if you have any other questions, uh, Ellen says, great, great webinar. Thank you, Ellen. Okay, so um, uh, yeah, if, if anybody wants Ellen's bonus, of course you have until the end of this webinar <laughs> to get that. And so it looks like one person already got it. So perfect. Uh, I'm just going to note uh, your name, Myra, because that is a fabulous bonus. Okay, so um, you guys know where to find me if you need any help. If you have any questions, watch out for the replay if you need it. And also claim your attendance prize. So again, it just says click here to download your attendance prize. Okay, so that is all we've got for today. I'm going to stop the screen share. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Talk to Bye. you soon, Gina.